Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump quietly slips out of sight for hours while overseas. Now we know the unbelievable reason. Editors note: This was a popular story of ours when it originally ran. We're reposting it now that Trump is attending his second G7 summit. What happened at his first one needs to be acknowledged after the deluge of leftist attack he's endured since then. President Trump and First Lady Melania have been tirelessly traveling for almost an entire week and are nearing the end of their first overseas presidential trip. The couple just landed in Belgium and the president will soon be attending the G7 summit back in Italy on Friday and Saturday. However, with as busy as he's been for days, he recently dropped everything and quietly slipped out of sight for a few hours and now we know the unbelievable reason why. There's been no shortage of media coverage as the Trumps travel the globe this week. Liberal news outlets wait with bated breath for the first sign of slip-up on the president's first overseas trip and will find anything to judge him for. Despite having cameras following the couple practically around the clock, there's one outing in Israel that media conveniently missed and it's clear as to why they chose not to cover it. Practically every second of the president's 27 hours in Israel was packed and planned out, but he still made time to fulfill a wish of a 14-year-old who heard he was coming to her country. As eager as she was to see him, Trump was reportedly eager to meet this special little girl. The Yeshiva World Reports During his recent visit to Israel, President Donald Trump made a 14-year-old girl's dream come true. Emily Amber has been battling cancer for the last seven years, and has dreamed of meeting with the U.S. president. Rachel Shalev is Israel's National Support Center for Pediatric Cancer Patients, and among their hundreds of invaluable services, they have helped thousands of pediatric cancer patients to achieve their dreams. Emily's dream was to meet the President of the United States and she got that wish fulfilled by our incredibly personable leader. Trump truly loves kids as much as the First Lady, who seems to have had a compassionate effect on him. Perhaps not surprising was that the entire media ignored this incredible story and act of love from our president since it's counter to their narrative. You can bet that if Barack Obama had done something as thoughtful as this, there would have been a media entourage in tow. On the contrary, liberals accused Melania of only being interested in the photo op at her frequent and lengthy hospital visits, which is far from the truth with the genuine love and concern for kids this couple continually exudes. President Trump chatted with Emily, asking about her health and well-being and relating to her a little bit about the immense responsibilities of being a president of the United States, the Yeshiva World reported. Emily blessed and thanked President Trump, and presented him with a letter she wrote expressing her desire to meet him again, this time in the White House, where she hoped to do business with him, and maybe even to bring peace to the world. President Trump was visibly moved by Emily and wished her good health and a speedy recovery. It was a momentous day for all. The local news outlet was the sole source of the story originally. However, if the mainstream media can find a way to spin this story into something grossly negative, you can rest assured that every outlet will be running it in no time. It's disgusting that the Obamas got perpetually coverage of their fake warm and fuzzy things they posed for, but when any member of the Trump family does something actually genuine and on their one accord, it's ignored or twisted into something disgusting that it is not. The left wants the world to believe that Trump is a heartless, horrible man who is out to dupe us all, take rights away, and kill people he doesn't like. Ironically, facts prove these things to be true about some of our liberal leaders. Meanwhile, if this first overseas trip has shown us anything, it's how loved the president and first lady are around the world. They aren't swayed by the leftist media in America that slanders our leader for the sole cause of paving the way to an impeachment. People in other countries simply judge him by his actions and not what people say, since that's what speaks louder than negative, spiteful words. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.